My Sterling Single, part 39, painting the other side of the tender frames chocolate brown, the correct colour, followed by painting the wheel sets using Great Northern Green. I'm starting this video by showing the paint drying on one side of the frames, that is the side I've already painted, and I hope that some viewers don't get too excited by this clip. In exactly the same way as I painted one side of the frames, I'm going to repeat the process in the outer part of the workshop. Just as I showed in a previous episode, I cleaned up the side I'm about to paint, then I wiped it over with cellulose thinners. And now I'm going to paint it Great Northern Railway Chocolate Brown. Before I do that, I need to mask off certain areas because I don't want every part of the tender frames painting chocolate brown. What I'm doing in this clip is covering up the parts of the frames that I don't want painting with a couple of pieces of cloth, and I masked off the wooden buffer beam using ordinary masking tape. I had some Great Northern Railway chocolate brown paint put into an aerosol by a company called Auto Paint Northern. As most people will know, these aerosol paint cans are known as rattle cans. The small ball inside the can rattles about and mixes the paint up to make it even. And I would normally do this for about three minutes, or maybe two minutes if I'm in a rush. This next part of the clip is heavily edited, it's a lot shorter than it actually was. Once the paint is thoroughly mixed, it's time to paint the part with it. According to the experts, I do this wrong, but it's the way I've always done it, and you can teach an old dog new tricks, but this works for me. By the way, I've just realised that's not the reason that I have a dog on my t-shirt, these are some t-shirts we had printed for a band that I was with a couple of years ago called Mad Dogs and Yorkshiremen. It was supposed to be a Joe Cocker tribute band, but we had a girl singer, which made it not quite a Joe Cocker tribute band, really. And to make matters even worse, the girl singer did not like Joe Cocker's music at all. After I painted this side of the frames, I realised I'd got some paint on the buffer stock, but that doesn't matter as it's going to be painted black. I just wiped away the surplus paint. As I'm painting by a wide open door, I thought it would be a good idea to take it into the inner part of the workshop for the paint to dry, and this will prevent any flies from landing on the paint and sticking to it. I'm a bit behind schedule on some jobs, because painting and varnishing has been difficult lately owing to the weather. But today, which is the 6th of April 2022, the weather outside is beautiful. Spring has definitely sprung. As far as seasons go, I really like spring, when a young man's fancy turns to thoughts of shaking a rattle can and painting wheels. Sadly though, I am no longer a young man. I don't particularly feel all that old, although when I look in the mirror I get a bit of a shock. Let the painting frenzy commence. The paint I'm using is Great Northern Green by Phoenix Precision Paints, and I do find this to be very strange paint when you spray it. What I have found when I brush this paint is you brush it on and it looks horrible, then you leave it to dry, and when you look at it later, once it has dried, it's all very smooth, it sort of flattens out. In exactly the same way as I did with the etching primer, I have to paint these wheels one at a time, and I can only paint one side at a time. You will notice that I thoroughly clean the top of the jig before moving on to a second wheel set. If I didn't do that, the inside edge of the wheel would stick to the wet paint. After I painted the wheel sets, I took each of them into the workshop, and I've actually sat them on top of an aerosol cap. This is a bit risky because they're very easily knocked over, so the answer really is not to knock them over. And that was it for today, a very short spell in the workshop. But, 24 hours later, here I am back again. What I'm doing here is removing the piece of silicone rubber because I don't want it on this end of the axle. And before any expert viewers comment, yes, I am aware that the centre part of the wheel is not fully painted, but this doesn't matter because this part of the wheel is behind the axle box. In fact, when I put the wheels in the lathe to get rid of the paint around the edge of the wheels, I might even remove the paint from the centre bosses. There's also some paint on the axle at the other end. This will be removed in the lathe also. For the rest of this video, I've composed a tune, and it was difficult. I had to temporarily put out of my mind what's happening in the world at the moment, yet another period of bloodshed and destruction. Instead, I took my inspiration by looking out of the window and watching all the wild birds in my garden 
busy collecting nesting materials and looking for food. I tried to think of a title for this tune, but all I could come up with was Wild Birds in My Garden in early April 2022, and I mean the feathered variety. Wherever you may be in the world, stay safe. Thanks for watching, and I hope you found it useful. Please take the time to visit my main Steam Models website and click on the section of the website that says Video Playlists. And by doing that you can find other videos that you may like to watch. And by using the playlists you can actually watch the videos back to back.